Friends, brothers and sisters, once again, this is the Truth of God program that come to you from the General Assembly of the True Churches of our Lord Jesus Christ here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, in the divided states of America, where one of the evil ones is the president of this country. <laughs> we are grateful to God and we are indebted to him for this great message, the message of holiness. We have none other to thank but God himself. Viewers, we are grateful that God has made provisions for us to wake you up, scare you up, and arouse your conscience to the thinking of God. Arouse your conscience that you may understand what God's will is, God's purpose, God's agenda, and follow the same. We greet all of our brothers and sisters that are watching in all the foreign countries and throughout America, uh, to all of our enemies that are watching, I greet you too, because I have thousands that's following this message, many thousands, and out of those thousands, many were enemies at one time. And now many love this message that they used to hate. You know, when I was a child, I didn't like greens. I didn't like turnip greens, collard greens, kale. I didn't like pinto beans, butter beans, black eyed peas, llama beans. Didn't like them. Hmm. I remember when my younger brother, and I'm pretty sure he's watching, Rocky and I were sitting at the kitchen and we had a plate full of collard greens. Mm -hmm. And uh, we agreed not to eat them, even though they were good for us. You know, when a thing is good for you and you're young and don't understand, you reject it. And we both conspired <laughs> to rid ourselves of them collard greens. So uh, my mother had a big refrigerator in the kitchen and we agreed to just dispose of them by throwing them behind the refrigerator. Now the plan wasn't as smooth as we thought it would go because <laughs> we was much smaller then. And I remember we stood on the chair and scooped them greens up in our hands and threw them behind the refrigerator, and in our mind, they were gone. Mm -hmm. But we didn't realize it left evidence. So my father came in the kitchen and said, did y'all eat all your greens? We lied together, lied, and said yes. You know, something about parents, many of them know when you're lying. So we left evidence and didn't realize it. My father, he looked at the plate and said, it's a little too clean. <laughs> and he started looking around. He checked the trash. <laughs> and then, he looked up. Me and Rock didn't realize that when we took a handful of collard greens and threw them behind the wall, all we knew, the greens was gone. We didn't realize there was a big grease spot, two of them, that still had some of the fragments of evidence of greens that wouldn't move from the wall. Proof that we lied. And of course, great judgment came upon us that day. <laughs> Glory to God. We received judgment from the judge himself, my father, 
Brother Ernest, oh, he took that bet off. Well, I like greens now. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. I eat my... <laughs> I eat my collard greens, my turnip. I've been introduced to greens that I didn't know nothing about when I was a young, a bok choy. And when I was on the African island in Mauritia, Bishop Simbali and his wife, Sister Simbali, she fixed a green. I, 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 I forgot what it was called, but I, I think it was wintercress or something. But whatever it was, it was good. So I don't turn my greens away no more. And, I don't turn none of the beans away because as I got older, I realized it was good for me. Viewers, you may fight this when you first hear it, but you will understand that it's good for you. And it is good for you. Like I mentioned earlier, before we got started, 11 went down so far in the name of Jesus Christ. Three more went down that came from Alaska. In the name of Jesus Christ as well, I want to thank uh, my brother, Brother Minister, the Evangelist Taj, who's doing a very good job uh, in uh, Zoom, preaching to the church there in the Netherlands. He had service yesterday and sent me a report, and I want to thank Brother Huey, who photographed and sent and emailed it to me, uh, and they live, of course, while he's preaching there. Uh, to the brothers and sisters at the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ in the Netherlands. And five went down yesterday in the name of Jesus Christ in the Netherlands. So it is a blessing. We greet all the brothers and sisters of the truth of God in Singapore, throughout uh, Korea, and throughout all the Caribbean, throughout all of Africa, Canada, and of course, again, through the divided states of America, South America, and through all of Europe, and uh, everywhere that hear this message, it's a strong message, I must admit, it is a strong message, but it's a good message. It'll make you move when you're stubborn. <laughs> Amen. You know, when I was younger and you eat too much sugar, it'll mess you up on the inside. My mother would give me that nasty castor oil. Mm, it gave me the chills thinking about it. Amen. And if that didn't move you, the mark of the beast medicine she gave to you. Remember? The, the three six medicine. I call it now the beast medicine. It was nasty, but brother, mm -hmm, it wakes you up. It wakes you up and makes you run. And you got delivered. Viewers, we got the thing to deliver you. All you have to do is accept it, come out of your churches. Be obedient now. There's only three months left in 2020. This year has gone by quick, isn't it? And brother, 2020 will be a year that you will never forget. Never mind them that died from the virus, which is over 200,000, and you got fools still saying that the virus is a hoax. You got people emailing me saying, Pastor Jennings, when are you going to wake up? The virus is a hoax. All right, tell family members that lost loved ones that. Tell them who don't have a living father, a living husband, living son, living daughter, living mother, no more wife. Tell them that, you fool. You're so foolish and so deceived of the devil. Amen. The thing that everybody needs now is what God outlined in the book of Scriptures. Now, Come on, Dandy Man. <clears throat> Amen. We're going to dive and get some letters and answer as many questions as we can. And we have about eight or nine letters that we haven't read some in, in a while. It isn't because they're not coming in. I'm behind. Someone say what you said last year, you were behind. I'm still behind. That's how many thousands of letters is flooding in. I have stacks. Stacks. Amen. They don't give me time to leave from out the pulpit before they hand me a stack of mail. All right, uh, Dan the Man Stasiak, we're going to listen at what he have and then we're going to answer. All right. Uh, this letter says, uh, it's on the quest of baptism. It says, good day. I'm a family man and I've been listening to the baptism preaching of Pastor Jennings. I am still a sinner and I smoke and I drink, but I want to get baptized together with my family. If I confess my sins and baptize myself, and then my family, 
Will it be valid because in my area where I stay, I don't see anyone fit that I can identify with the Holy Spirit so as the head of my house, can I baptize myself, this person says, and my family? No. In the book of St. Matthew chapter 3. No, you can't baptize yourself. Jesus never gave no one the authority to baptize themselves. Uh, now, let's itemize this with the Bible quickly. St. Matthew chapter 3, we'll start at verse 13. Listen. Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John. Wait a minute. Jesus came from Galilee to Jordan unto John. Unto John to be baptized of him. You see that? Jesus himself was baptized by somebody. That's right. And he was baptized by John the Baptist. So, no, sir, uh, I know you want to be baptized. I'll tell you what you do. You email the truth of God back. This time, give us your contact information if it's not already in it. If your contact information is already there, I'll have one of my brothers email you. And if you can't get to where we are, we'll get to where you are. And uh, make sure one, uh, one of the brothers take you down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, even though your family, you may want your family to be baptized, but still, you just can't get baptized in water. There's something you got to do before that. In, Act, in the book of Acts chapter 2 and at verse 38. That's what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Ah, that's it. That's it. Now, viewers, there's many that's being baptized because they're happy of what they heard. Right. But before you are baptized, the Bible says in the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter two and, and verse in the time of this ignorance, God winked there, but now God commandeth all men everywhere that's to right. repent. You got to repent before you're baptized. Right. Meaning you got to be sorry about your sins. You got to be convicted. Your wife got to repent. Your children got to repent. No family members should get baptized because mama wants them to do it or daddy wants them to do it. The apostle Peter said, save yourself. yourself. From this untoward generation. From this generation that's going to hell. So there has to be an individual decision. So no, you cannot baptize yourself. You must come and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. All right, next letter. Uh, this letter is on the question of baptism also. It says, after you repent and get baptized, what next? How do I get filled with the Holy Ghost? Wonderful question. The thing that you must do after you repent and be baptized, uh, the Bible says in the first chapter of the book of Acts of the Apostles when they was in the upper room, the word of God said, these all, not some of them, but these all continued in prayer and supplication with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus. So after you repent of your sins and are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, now you got to tarry. You got to tarry. I said you got to tarry, which means wait. The Bible says tarry until, until you're being due with power from on high. From on high. Tarry means wait. And, and behold, of, listen at this. In the book of Luke chapter 24 and verse 49. That's what? And behold, I send Look, the promise. I send the promise of my father upon, of my you. Father on you. But tarry ye wait in the city of Jerusalem. In the city of Jerusalem. Until you be endued with power from on high. Until you be endued with power from on high. And you bear in mind, the, Jesus told his apostles this, right. and the apostle was baptized by Jesus, right. and then they went to Jerusalem and received the Holy Ghost. So when the Bible says tarry, that means to wait. In the midst of your waiting, you are praying like they did in the first chapter of Acts of the Apostles. These the all continue. Says, These all continue. With one accord. With one accord. In Hallelujah. prayer. Thank God in prayer. And supplication. And supplication. With the women. With the women and, and Mary, Mary, the, the mother, mother of Jesus, Jesus. And with his brethren. And with his brethren. So you want to be prayerful. After you are baptized, you want to be prayerful, seeking the Lord and believing the Lord. For the Bible says, he that cometh through God must believe that he is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. So while you're praying and seeking the Lord for the Holy Ghost, you want to believe that God will fill you with the Holy Ghost and you will know you have it. Praise our God, because you will come through speaking in other tongues that the Spirit of the living God give utterance like they did on the day of Pentecost in Jerusalem. All right, next letter. Uh, this letter comes from Auckland, New Zealand. Wonderful. It says, Hi, Truth of God. Enjoy the sermons on YouTube. Is there a Truth of God affiliated gathering here in Auckland, New Zealand, as my spirit is urging me to get baptized? Yes, there are many false churches, prosperity churches here in New Zealand too. Please may I get an address or phone number and this person says, thank you. Yes, we do have first church of our Lord Jesus Christ in New Zealand. Thank God for that. That came about because the word of God was dropping in Australia. 
thank God, and pulled one of the preachers out of the UPCI and uh, Pastor Mars. And he came to walk with the word of God and he began to reach out to many ministers that knew him. And to his surprise, the ministers that he reached out to throughout the South Pacific, the Fiji Islands, Samoan Islands, Solomon Islands, Crook Islands, New Zealand, different parts of Australia, they was already watching the message. Already watched the message. And then he went, when he left here, and visited the different locations. And the preachers began to come one by one, one by one. Thank God to be a part of the truth of God. So God willing, we'll reach out to you, uh, Auckland, New Zealand, and let you know where you can visit one of the truth of God temples and be a part of this great message of holiness. All right. This letter says, uh, I stumbled across your broadcast last night. Well, it's a good thing you stumbled across it. Uh -huh. On WJYS. Yes. It was truly a blessing to me. Mm -hmm. I grew up with the teachings that you brought forth last night. I agree that the churches have changed and we need to get back to what the word says. Thank you for wisdom and knowledge that you shared on last night's message. I will be tuning in on every Sunday night, this person says. Last but not least, please thank, I thank God that you helped me to understand and break down his word according and pray for my healing, the person says, throughout my body, and he says, or she says, amen. Thank God for that letter. God willing, we pray that whatever condition you're dealing with, according to the God will, uh, he will heal you and strengthen you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, because we believe God is a healer, don't we? Not only, hallelujah, not only do we believe it, we know God is a healer. So whatever condition you have, I pray that God strengthen you, keep you, and preserve you is our prayer. All right. This person has a very simple question. Yes. How come God did not respect Cain's offering? Was it simply not good enough? Let me know. All right, I'll let you know. Give me the book of Genesis. Genesis. Let's get uh, Cain and Abel and go right to the point and we'll show you why God did not accept Cain's offering and uh, he rejected. And it, and it is a good lesson there for all of us. In the book all of, right, read quick. In the book of Genesis chapter 4, and we'll start reading at verse 10. All right. And he said, what hast thou done? What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood. Big, you better go up to verse 5 quickly. At verse 5. I got to show them the reason why. But unto Cain and to his offering. Unto Cain and to his offering. He had not respect. He did not respect it. And Cain was very wroth in his countenance fell. Now Cain was very angry with God, and of course his uh, countenance changed. And the Lord said unto Cain, why art thou wroth? Why are you angry? And why is thy countenance? Fallen. Why are your countenance fallen? If thou doest well. Yeah, do you hear this? This is the reason why. Genesis God reject Cain's offering. If you thou would have well. done well, if you would have offered that sacrifice right, shalt thou not be accepted? It would have been accepted. And if thou doest not well, and if you don't do well, sin lies at the door. You are go to hell. Well, my writer, that stands now. Uh, you got to offer yourself. The Bible says, present your body, living sacrifice, holding and accept one to God, which is your reasonable service. Don't be conformed to this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. So therefore, we have to offer up ourselves now. Our whole body got to be offered to God, but it must be offered to the Lord God of heaven and earth on his terms. I beseech you therefore, brethren. Listen at this. Romans 12 and verse 1. I beseech you, brethren. By the mercies of God. By God's mercy. That you present your body. Wait a minute. How do he want it? That you present your body. You bodies. know, when you present, when you want somebody to have something, they ain't got to argue with you. They ain't got to fight with you. When you present it, you are bring it willingly and gladly. That you present your body. Wait a minute. God wants you to present your body living sacrifice from what kind? Holy. What? Holy. Hey, that lets you know the type of sacrifice he accepts is what kind? Holy. You can't be a Baptist sacrifice, a Jehovah Witness sacrifice, or not a nominational sacrifice. God wants you to be holy. So when you present yourself as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, you have to give God the reasonable service. So if you want God to accept you like he did Abel, then you got to bring it on God terms. That means all your worship, all your songs, all your prayers, all your salvation, the way you claim you've been saved, the way you say you've been born again, your belief in God, the kind of church you're in, the kind of religion that you have, all of it. Glory to God got to fall under the guidelines of Scripture if you want God to accept what you have. All right, next letter. This letter comes from Brooklyn, New York. Uh -huh. Praying all is well with you. Peace yes. and grace from our Lord Jesus Christ. We would like to inquire if you are holding baptisms at this time. We are a ministry of eight from Brooklyn, New York, 
and would like to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Mm -hmm. A few others are interested in making the trip to be baptized as well. It says, looking forward to hearing from you. May the Lord bless and keep you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, Brooklyn, we are baptizing in the name of Jesus Christ. God willing, our staff will reach out to you if they haven't done it already, so you can go down and water in the name of the Lord Jesus. All right. Jamaica and the West Indies. Mm -hmm. Greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I am from Jamaica, and I've been watching you for some time. Wonderful. I'm a member of the UPC body, but my heart and spirit is with the truth of God. Yeah, you make sure to stay with the truth of God and leave UPC. You just leave right out there. Uh -huh. And I like the passion you have for souls to get saved. My wife has been taken by the enemy, mm -hmm. and we have been living apart for almost six years now. All right. She has recently sent, sent me divorce papers. She has lived with another man, and it looks like she wants to be Pronounce Mr. Miss Adulterer mm -hmm. with this person. I like her, and I need real soldiers of God's army to help me storm the devil's gate to rescue her as she is blindfolded by his lies. Yes. I mean well and have a strong desire to please God as the ultimate authority of, of how we must live. And this person gives their name, and again, they're from Jamaica in the West Indies. All right, Jamaica, yes. Uh, if you were in the UPC, the UPC believe you can divorce. They believe you can divorce all you want. They don't put no cap on how many wives or how many husbands you have. And uh, the Bible's against it. Romans chapter 7 and at verse 1. Says what? Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law. Uh -huh. How that the law hath dominion over man as long as he liveth. Yes. For the woman which hath an husband. The woman that have a husband. Is bound by the law to her husband. Bound by the husband to her husband. So is bound by the law to her husband. So long, so long as he liveth. So long as that fella's alive. But if the husband be dead, if the husband be dead, she is loose from the law of the husband. Free. Uh -huh. So then, if while her husband liveth, if her husband is alive, she be married to another man. What 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 is she in God's eyes? She shall be called an adulteress. So yes, your wife is living in adultery. But don't you go do what your wife done. Do wrongs, don't make it right. right. I pray that God keep you and preserve you. And we'll be praying that if it's God will, God turn the heart of your wife and the mind of your wife. Not just the mind, but the heart too. Because the heart got to get disconnected from that man. And then the mind got to get disconnected from that man and thought. And then the body got to get disconnected from that man with fondling. And then the spirit got to get disconnected from the devil and her unbelief towards scripture. All right, next letter. This letter comes from Dover, Delaware. Mm -hmm. For the last two weeks, I've been listening to Apostle Jenna's teachings. And I can truly say that I was fed spiritually. Yes. I reside in Dover, Delaware, and I am a preacher who is hungry to know more. All right. I would be honored to sit under your leadership and to be taught. I love the word, and if it isn't in the Bible, I don't listen to it. I love the fact that everything you say, you back it up with the word of God's revelation. My name is Julius, and I was called to be a preacher. Mm-hmm. And I need some good leadership. I'm calling you now, Julius. You hear, you hear your calling? Julius! I just called you. All right, come on, Dan. And I need some good leadership. <laughs> yeah. And I would be honored to be under your leadership. Again, right. this comes from Dover, Delaware. All right, Julius, you're more than welcome. But as I say over the air, I get hundreds of letters like this, and I tell all men, old, middle-aged, and young, if you don't want to believe what the Word of God says, stay where you're at. Because the truth of God won't change if a net smile with an entire gold set of teeth. We're going to stick to what the word of God says. So Julius, as long as you repent of your sins and are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, and believe in nothing but pure premium, heaven, sin, holiness, and you come on here and we'll teach you God be our help. All right, Dan. This letter simply asks, Pastor Gino, what do you think about the Church of God of Prophecy? What do I think about it? <laughs> uh, my thoughts don't mean nothing. But I tell you what the Bible says about the Church of God and Prophecy. Give me the 28th chapter of the book of Isaiah. Isaiah. Let's see where they hid themselves. Right. And you better move quick, son, because my time is getting away. Right. Amen. The 28th chapter of the Isaiah book of chapter Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 28 and at verse 14. This is what I think of. The question is, what do I think of the Church of God and Prophecy? In fact, let me say this. That's the organization my mother came up in as a child back in the 1930s and the 1940s. And when she heard the message from uh, the late Bishop uh, S.C. Johnson uh, about the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, 
uh, when she was a child, uh, the uh, Church of God and Prophecy, there was a group of young people who wanted to be baptized. And my mother gave us this testimony and how the board of directors of the Church of God and Prophecy, they caused such a stir, uh, they called for all of them to come before the church that wanted to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and threatened to throw them all out, out of the Church of God and Prophecy if they would go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. So my grandmother, which is my mother's mother, snuck many young people as possible to other areas so they can be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. So let me show you what uh, the Church of God and Prophecy was in the 1930s, and I'm gonna show you what the Church of God and Prophecy is here in 2020. Isaiah chapter 28, we're at verse 15. Listen. Because ye have said, because we have made a covenant have said, with death. You have made a covenant with death. And with hell are we at agreement. And with hell are you at agreement. When the overflowing score shall pass through, yes. it shall not come unto us. All right. For we have made lies our refuge. This is what the Church of God and Prophecy done. They have made lies. Our refuge. They hid on the lies. And under falsehood. And under falsehood. Have we hid ourselves? They hid themselves under falsehood. That's not God's church. No. But what, what, may, what are the lies they hide under? They believe in women preachers. They don't believe in a baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. They got women bishops, women elders, deaconess, which is nothing but a religious mess. Anything that contradicts the word of God, that's what they have. We, so you leave the church of God in prophecy. Leave it. That's right. Leave it. That's right. Thank God every church of God in prophecy in the world ought to be bulldozed down and the land cleared. Amen. So, so and put a house there. Put a garden there. Anything. Come out. Come out. Come out from among Come them. Come out from among them and be ye separate. Saith the Lord. Why? And touch not the unclean thing. And don't thing. touch the unclean thing. So that's what the Bible deals with about the church of God and prophecy. All right, damn the man. This final letter comes from Belize in Central America. Yes. It says, good night. I listened to Pastor Jennings preach on YouTube. Uh -huh. I enjoy every minute of each sermon. I live in this Caribbean country of Belize in Central America. I am interested in the Bible that have the other books in it, like Second Esther, Ecclesiasticus, and the others. Yeah. How can I get a copy? Well, right now we're out of stock, and it seems like as soon as they come in, they go out. Because people from all around the world, uh, they want them. But you keep tuned to the website, and once some more get in, uh, everybody will be informed on the church website. Uh -huh. I am praying to do this because they are going to give us vaccines that is against God's word and principles. But I want to know what other pastors and you guys are going to do to protect the flock and to follow God to fight this battle for us and to help us, help us lead and to lead God's people across the world and to look into, he says he's looking to you for guidance on this in a spiritual way. Are you guys just going to continue to just go to your pool hits? and preach the word of God, but not help the people survive this wicked, devious thing that's coming our way. I don't believe that. I admire the, the fact that you said you're not afraid of no man, not one, but God, and, but, but God. I know, and now I know, I'm just looking down and seeing all these pastors not doing anything to walk these streets with people. And we can end up with this thing with God leading us, let us a little unclear. I hope you feel the same because I know God does and know the people in the congregation that are worried about what's going to come at some point, but we need to not sit down and take it and wait for it will, for it will I think, need to make our voices, we need to make our voices heard in a peaceful prayer, letters not too clear, for walking in the streets and carrying out Bible, Bible way until these walls fall down. The letter's right. not very clear. It comes that's from, right. again, Belize in Central America. All right, South America, that's all? That's all. All right, thank God for you. Then. All right, we thank God for all the letters. Let me say this to South America. You can walk the streets all you want. The government don't care. Right. In fact, there is no government that really care about people walking the streets. Right. Once you walk the streets, uh, that's not going to make the government move because all the government will do is either send policemen or dogs or fire holes or be uh, power hungry like Trump and send the military to you and shoot you and feel justified. If thou be for his prophet, listen in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 13 and at verse 4. What is it? If thou be for his prophet, yes. he will use thee. If 
thou be for his profit for his profit for he, his gain he will use thee he will use you but if thou have nothing if you have nothing he will forsake thee he will forsake you so walk in the streets and protesting like so many are doing and have done it makes the government sometime uh, change their mind but in order to get complete change you need God that's right change come about with God now, in reference to the vaccine, we preached about this just last week. And uh, I believe what the Bible said, let every man be persuaded in his own mind. Let every man be persuaded in his own mind. I am not going to tell nobody to go take it. Why, Pastor Jennings, like someone wrote me, why don't you tell your people? Your people. My people is every race under the sun. But they just were looking at me being a black man or brown man or whatever category they want to put me. Uh, and go talk to people who look like me. But my job as a minister of Jesus Christ is to talk to the people of the earth. My job as a representative of heaven, I don't represent America, let me make that clear. Amen. I don't represent America, let me make that clear. I didn't stutter. Pastor Gino Nicolius Jennings, born in Temple Hospital, February the 10th, 1963, do not represent America. I don't pledge my allegiance to America in no form, not halfway, not a little bit, in no form. I represent God and I pledge my allegiance to the God of all holy prophets and to God of all holy apostles. For that cause, no, I don't tell folk go run get the vaccine when it come out. Let every man be persuaded in his own mind because I don't know what you're putting in me. As I said before, America have a very wicked, ungodly, perverted, hell-deserving history. How they injected things in people of color and watched them die. Watched them die and then had a cure for the vaccine that they inject them with. In the book of Ecclesiastes. And they wouldn't even give it to them. That's right. So this is why you have so many people of color are hesitant. So, as I, I let, let me say like the Apostle Paul, as I said before, so sad now again, if by any means the vaccine is produced, then my suggestion is plain and simple. Give it to Trump. Give it to his children. He got three wives. Give it to all of them. Give it to uh, all of Congress, Democrats and Republicans. I mean, give it to all of Congress, all the politicians, and to their wives and children. Give it to all of them. And then let us sit back and see what happens. Amen. Let's see what happens. All the scientists that uh, put it together, let them inject themselves or inject each other. Let's see what happens. All of them that says the virus is a hoax, I want to encourage you to be the first volunteers to take the hoax vaccine. Huh? That's right. Amen. But I will never, and I, I know I'm not going to walk the street with a bullhorn and yell. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm a blast it. Thank God. Across social media, across the radio, across the airwaves. Thank God. And let make it rain with God everlasting word. Let it distill from heaven like the dew. Call it a Holy thunderstorm. Yeah. Thank God and shake the foundation of the world. Amen. We have to look to God and God only. I am not looking for the government of America to cure or to rectify the problem. Not at all. Because America is part of the problem. Who in their right mind will go to an enemy or look to an enemy to give you some form of freedom. It is not in no enemy to free you. It is in an enemy to harm you and to afflict more harm upon you. If he have need of thee. Why would I look to the devil to be saved? That's right. Why would I look to the devil to be holy? That's right. Why would I look to the devil to lead me right? Thank God for me to be right, for me to be holy. I have to go to the right source and I have to go to the holy one. Thank God and God is he. 
All right, William, let's go to work. Let's go to work. Let's go to work now. I want everybody to follow me and everybody to hear me. Give me a chapter and verse anywhere. And Amen. let's dive and go to work now what time I have. Amen. All right. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 3, and we'll start at verse 1. Yes. Do we begin again to commend ourselves? Do we begin again to uh, commend ourselves? Or need we as some others? Or need we as some other? Epistles of commendation to you? Yes. Or letters of commendation from you? Uh -huh. Ye are our epistle. Do you hear this? Ye are our epistle. Now, viewers, the apostle declare ye are. Ye are our epistle. Our epistle. Written in our hearts. Written in our hearts. That's what got me preaching like this, viewers. Yeah. Some folks say that man is hateful. He don't love nobody but himself. No. The church is a written epistle. That's right. Do you hear what he just read? Ye are our epistle. Ye are. Ye are our the epistle. is our writing. Written in our hearts. Written. In our hearts. That's why it takes God to make a preacher. That's right. Because God will put the love in the heart of the preacher for the people. And that will cause him to sacrifice his life how often? All day. All day. Every day. That's right. For what? That's right. Just to save the wicked. Yeah. Amen. Even those that hate him, yeah. even those that want him dead, God sent him to them. That's right. They preached to him. Yeah. Amen. Even though when Jesus was being crucified yeah. in the flesh, praise his great name. Amen. He could have called legions of angels to slay everything. But instead, the flesh, the flesh of Christ declares, Father, forgive them. They, they don't know what they're doing. Now, when you're colonel minded, you would say Jesus didn't know what he was talking about. You know, the nation of Islam always quote that scripture and say, Hi in the world, Jesus can say a thing like that. They didn't know what they was doing. They knew they was nailing the nails in his hands and in his feet. They knew they was killing him. Yes, they did know that they was killing him. But what they did not know, that they was fulfilling scripture concerning him. Huh? Which none now, of the, Listen at this. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and at verse 8. Says what? Which none of the princes of this world none. knew. Glory to God of the princes or the rulers of this world knew. For had they known it. If they had known it. They would not have crucified the Lord of glory. If they had knowledge. If they had known it. Glory to God of who he was. That's right. Oh, hallelujah. That's right. If they understood who he was. They would not have crucified He was them. in the world. That's right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the world, blessed be the name of God, was made by, by him. Him. And the world knew him no. Not. Not. Now, that don't mean because the flesh was in the world, the flesh made everything. The flesh ain't made nothing. That's right. For the flesh was made itself. Yeah. But the Spirit of God that was in that flesh, the Spirit of God was in the world. Yeah. How? In the flesh. And, and the Word was made flesh. And the Word, listen, the Word, the same Spirit that was in the flesh was the same Spirit that made the flesh. That's right. That's what the Bible said. The Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Amen. He come along and put on a body. The Spirit of God put on the body, and the body was called Son of God, meaning servant of God. Then it was called Lamb of God, which means sacrifice of God. Then it was called Son of Man, which means Son of the prophet of God. Who was that prophet? The prophet was David. How was Jesus David's son? Because Jesus came out of the house that David was the father of. And to the Bible said, of the throne of his father David, thank God there shall be no end. Mm -hmm. All right, what did brother Paul tell us, son? Back in 2 Corinthians 3 and at verse 2. All right. Ye are our epistle. Ye are our epistle. Written in our hearts. Written in our hearts. Known and read of all men. What? Known. Known. And read. And read. Of all men. Now, viewers, the church from the Lord Jesus Christ was written about written from old testament thank god to the new one of my brothers was telling me how there was a pretty always yelling about pastor jennings over the internet especially for them that don't have no viewers if they if you want a viewer if you want to build up your viewing uh status just say pastor jennings That's right. yeah you can just say anything That's right. people want to know what you got what you're talking about and there was a fella who called himself an apostle. I don't know. I didn't hear him because I don't watch these fellows. Who said uh, that Pastor Jennings, 
He don't want no part of me. I, 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 I tie in tone over the name of the church. Because we say, first church of the Lord Jesus Christ. And they say, well, you don't see in the Bible where it says, first church in the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. You don't see it read like that. You're right. I agree. You also don't see it written, the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. You don't see it in there like that either. You also don't see it written, the church in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You don't see it written like that either. The thing that God tells us to do is whatever we do in word and deed, do all in the name of, in the, Lord the, Jesus. Name of the Lord Jesus. Whatsoever now, we do. Now, he said whatsoever. So therefore, I take the whatsoever, blessed be God, and take the name yes. Jesus, and the moment I say Lord, I hook one of his titles up to his name. That's right. And uh, so I take another title. I can say the last church of the Lord Jesus Christ and be justified because Jesus said upon this rock I build my church, church. and you don't read where he's going to build another. That's right. The church that started on the day of Pentecost, here, 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 viewer, the church that started on the day of Pentecost is the first spiritual church that he started. It's the only spiritual church that he started. It's the last spiritual church that he started. It is the final spiritual church that he started. That's right. And it's, it's the true church that he started. To the general assembly. The church got a lot of titles. That's right. Get chapter and verse now. Now in Hebrews chapter 12 and I can say the general assembly. And church. And church. Of the firstborn. This is where you, this is the first church that he established that you had to be born again. That's right. First time. That's right. First time. That's right. Where you had to be born all over again. All over again. So the, look at the church have title, general assembly. Mm -hmm. Church have a title, firstborn. firstborn. But now that firstborn and that general assembly come under a name. Whatsoever you do. Whatsoever you do in word or in deed, do all. In the name of the Lord Jesus. So yes, I wouldn't, I wouldn't waste two cents and argue with you about the name of the church. If you don't like the name, don't watch it. <laughs> That's right. I settled that argument. That's right. If you don't like the name First Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, why you keep watching us? Right. Just write me back and tell me it's God the first and the last. <laughs> Just tell me it's the church that started on the day of Pentecost, the first spiritual church that God started. Mm -hmm. Just write me back and let me know, is it the only church that God, I can say the only church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Right. You that are watching, this is the only church of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. Huh? That's and right. And when I say that, I didn't say the only location. No. <laughs> Eh? No, no. I'm not saying it's the only location here in Philadelphia. Right. I'm talking about the only people. Right. And the only people is a holy people that consists of all nations. That's right. Glory to take God, black, white, brown, yellow, red, every nationality under the sun that repent of their sins and are baptized in water. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ and have that one and only Holy Ghost. And it shall come to pass. Speaking in tongue of the Spirit of God give utterance. Once you receive that Holy Ghost, it puts you in God's only church. Holy church. It puts you in God first church. church. It puts you in God last church. It puts you in God clean church. That's right. That it may become right. a glorious church. That's right. All right. To the general assembly. Give chapter and verse again. Back in Hebrews 12 and verse 23. To the general assembly and, and church, church of the firstborn. Which are written in heaven. What? Which are written in heaven. It's written in heaven. And to God the judge of all. God is the judge of all. So and you really think I will waste my time and argue with you because you don't like the word first? First. You don't like the word first? Are you that foolish? But foolish and unlearned questions. He's foolish and unlearned questions. Avoid. What? But foolish and unlearned questions avoid. So you fools that are out there, I don't see where it says fair chair. I don't see that it's written like that. You're right. It's not written like that. Yeah. It's, not written, it's not written like that at all. Mm -hmm. You better give me Revelation chapter 1 if I'm correct quickly. That's and right. begin at verse 8. Revelation 1, 8. Revelation chapter 1. And what did God say? I am Alpha. And Omega. And Omega. The beginning. The beginning. At the end. And the end. Saith the Lord. Saith the Lord. Which is. Which is. And which was. Which was. And which is to come. And which is to come. The Almighty. Why should say he's the first and the last? That's right. Do you hear what it said? I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the ending. You know, saith when, the when, Lord. You, when you begin the thing, you're the first of it. 
That's right. When you're the ending of the thing, you're the last of it. Saying I am Alpha and Omega. Did, uh, did you hear this? Now in the book of Revelation 1 and verse 11. Says what? Saying I am Alpha, I am and, Alpha Omega. and Omega. The first. The first. And the last. Just write me back and tell me, is the church that started the day of Pentecost from the Lord Jesus Christ, is it the first church he started there in Jerusalem? Mm -hmm. I ain't going to argue with you about it. If you don't yeah. like it, turn it off. That's right. Huh? That's right. I won't give you television time to debate me over the word first, you <laughs> fool. That's right. I, you, I, you actually think I'm going to give you television time Amen. to debate me over the word first? Avoid foolish questions. I'm going to avoid you. That's right. I'm avoid foolish questions. I won't, even wait. I, won't, I won't even turn my back. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, if I'm drinking a milkshake, I slurp it louder. <laughs> All right, let's go back to where we were now. Back in 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and at verse 2. My God, I didn't know men were so desperate for attention like for this. Attention. All right. Ye are our epistle. Ye are our epistle. Written in our hearts. Written in our hearts. Known and read of all men. He's talking about the church. That's right. And now the church got an, another title, epistle. Epi uh -huh. A pistol. Yes. Here are our epistle written in our hearts. Written in our hearts. Known and read of all men. Yes. For as much as ye are manifestly declared. Now, hold it now. He says, known and read of all men. Of all men. Now, let me break that down. Bills. Whatever, glory to God, you want to know about the church of Jesus Christ, go to what's written. That's right. He said, known, it's known, and read. It's known. Ye are our epistle written in our hearts. Ye are our epistle. Written in our hearts. Written in our hearts. Known. Known. And read. Read. Of all men. You want to know about the church? That's right. Go to what's written. That's right. You want to know what the church believes? Go to what's written. You want to know what the church stand for? Yeah. Go to what's written. Search the scriptures. You want to know what the church don't believe? Yeah. Go to what's written. Right. You want to know how many gods is in the church? Go to what's written. Right. Anything you want to know about the church by the Lord Jesus Christ, go to what's written. That's it. For the Bible said whatsoever things. Were written before time. Were written before you got here. Were written for our learning. They were written so you can learn. That we through patience. And that you take your time. And comfort of the and scriptures. And have a, a, a comfort by what's written. Might have hope. My hope is in what's written. That's it. I don't believe in nothing made up. This Eurocentric uh, Roman stuff that come out of hell that is and have been influenced in the churches in the world, yeah. not here. Mm -mm. We believe in what's written. That's All right. That's right. what's written. Do you hear what the Apostle Paul said this? Ye are our epistle written in our hearts. Yes. Known and read of all men. Uh -huh. For as much as ye are manifestly declared yes. to be the epistle of Christ, uh -huh. ministered by us. Ministered by us. Written not with ink. Wait a minute. Written. Not with ink. Not with ink. But with the spirit <laughs> of the living God. What do you mean not written with ink? Mm. Man didn't just come and got something and just started writing. That's right. This thing was written by the spirit of God. That's what right. What do you mean? Well, Pastor Jennings, I don't understand that. When I open the Bible or even in the scrolls, there's some form of ink. When the Bible says not written. With ink. With ink. With ink. That simply mean man didn't write it on his own accord. That's right. But then the Bible go on and tell us how it was written. But with the spirit. With what? With the spirit. Glory to God. With the spirit. Of the living God. With the God. spirit of the living God. Not in That's how it was written. That's right. With the spirit of the living God. Not what? Not in tables of stone. Not in tables of stone. But in fleshy tables of the heart. Now viewers, this thing is beyond paper. This is, hallelujah, blessed be God, this is beyond paper. Right. Amen. This thing has to be down in your heart. heart. That's why I say moreover, if anyone took the paper, amen, that's called the Bible or the Holy Scriptures, and throw it in, in fire and burn it all up, you haven't got rid of the Word of God at all. Right. You know, in the uh, 1930s and in the 1940s, Hitler took all Bibles. All Bibles that was in all of Germany, Hitler took all Bibles and burnt them up. Yes. And all Jewish synagogues, all rabbis, took the original writings they had of the Torah and the scrolls, and they would take them out and hide them. So Hitler wouldn't take the Old Testament and burn it up, but he took all Bibles and all crosses that was on churches and houses of worship, he took them down yeah. and replaced all crosses with a swastika. 
Amen. All songs that sung about Jesus were forbidden. And the children of Germany at that time, I'm not making this up, you can go on YouTube and uh, pull it up. You can see actual footage, uh, documentary, historical footage. You'll see the children standing there singing, saying these words that Hitler is our Lord and Savior. Lord. Hitler is our God. We pledge our allegiance to Hitler. That's what Trump wants. My Lord. Eh? Yeah. Eh, 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 that's yeah. why anybody who refuses to pledge their allegiance to the uh, wannabe dictator of America, uh, he throws them not only under the bus, but he drives the bus over them. That's right. Now, the preachers of these religious institutions in America and the world have pledged their allegiance to the governments of their country. Yeah. That's why the governments of America and the world run the churches. That's right. Oh yes, amen. They tell you what, they, what, you, what to believe, yeah. you believe it. They tell you what you can't believe, yeah. you won't believe it. Uh, they tell you what God you will believe in, uh, what religious rights you can have and can have. Amen. You, you, you can't have prayer in the school, which is a government out of hell. That's right. I can't have prayer in the school, yet you got governmental chaplains. That's right. isn't, that, isn't that wicked? That's true. Eh? Amen. Can't have prayer in the schools, yet when this pandemic hit the earth, all the politicians, let us pray. Yeah. Eh? yeah. Do you see it? Yeah. You're a bunch of hypocrites. hypocrites. No prayer yeah. in school, Democrats and Republicans. Let us pray. Yeah. Let us pray. Yeah. And they took, they, they, they take the, the, the commandments yeah. off government buildings. Yeah. Amen. And throw them out. Yeah. Anything that God is reflected in, yeah. America, glory to God in the world, yeah. denounce it. But woe uh, unto you, scribes. Listen at this. Listen at this. In the book of St. Matthew 23 and verse 13. Woe unto you, scribes. And Pharisees. Pharisees. Hypocrites. What else are they? Hypocrites. What else are they? Hypocrites. Can't leave that out. That's right. Mm -hmm. They get on me about calling names, but hey amen. I, I, I'm going to call you. Uh, what's, what's in here? That's right. What's, what's in here? Woe unto you, scribes, Woe unto and, you Pharisees, scribes and Pharisees. Hypocrites. Hypocrites. For ye shut up the kingdom of heaven you against shut up men. Shut the kingdom of heaven against men. Against men. For ye, not, for ye neither go in yourselves. You won't go in yourself. Neither suffer ye them that are entering in to go in. Do you hear that? Amen. You yourself won't repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. You yourself don't want the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues, many of you preachers. That's right. But yet you forbid your members to do it. Amen. You tell your members you don't have to be baptized. Yeah. You don't need no baptism. Yeah. I have baptized you already, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And as I said before, so sad now again, everybody, anybody, regardless of who you are, what color, what race, and what country you live in, if you've been baptized, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, and that's what the preacher said over you. You've never been baptized. That's right. Here, 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 the old troublemaker now. Right. I say you've never been baptized since you walked the earth, crawled, spit, slob, or ate. Amen. That's right. Everybody, Everybody. that's been baptized in the words, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. and you never got the name, the name, the name of the name. Jesus Christ, that's you're it. not baptized. That's right. You're still sinners. That's your right. pastor your bishop, your apostle, your elder, your deacon, your mother, your father, your entire household, all Democrats, all Republicans, Queen Elizabeth, the Queen of England. Be it known unto you all. Be it known unto everybody. And to all the people of Israel. Glory to God and to Israel. That by the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Christ of Nazareth. Glory to God. By the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank God of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Whom ye crucified. Whom ye crucified. Whom God raised God, from the dead. Thank God raised from the dead. Even by him. Even by him. Let this man stand here thank before God you hold. Thank God this man is standing before you hold. This is, this the, is stone the stone which was set in order of you built. Which has become, which the, head become the, the head of the corner. Which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation. Neither. Is there salvation. Is there salvation. In any other. What did he say? For there is none other there name. There is no other name. Under heaven. Under heaven. Given among men. Given among men. Men. Whereby we must be saved. You don't have the name of Jesus Christ in baptism. You don't. That's right. 
You don't. Amen. Every archbishop, every pope, every priest, every rabbi. Yes. It doesn't matter what you call yourself, rabbi or elder. Amen. Amen. You can talk about the name of Jesus, Yahashua, Hamashiach, Yahashua, Hamashiach. They go for you too, Imam. Amen. Imam. You can talk about Isa, 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 Isa. Isa. That's all right. That's all right. That's all, all, all you Hispanic churches. You can talk about Jesus, Jesus. That's all right. That's all right. Thank God, but unless you go down in water, yeah. in the name of Jesus Christ, in your language, yes. whatever, glory yeah. to God, hallelujah, thank God your language is, yeah. if you don't go down in that name, That's right. you're not saved. Neither is there salvation. Glory to God, the Bible said, neither is there salvation. In any other. In any other. For there is none other name under Our heaven. Father is no name. That's right. Son is no name. Holy Ghost is no name. Right. You may wonder why we preach it so much. Because that epistle is all carved in my heart. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. The Holy Ghost That's right. has put it there. Amen. Glory to God. That's why the apostles went around the world. Amen. Jesus sent them out. Blessed Don't be the name of God. He went to the cross and died. Yeah. And come on back. Thank yeah. God. The third day. That's right. Amen. The pit. To his witnesses, witnesses and told him, Yeah, my witnesses of these things. these things. And behold, I send the promise of my father on you. But you go to Jerusalem and stay yeah. there until you're being due with power That's from right. on high. Right. Bless God. And he moved on, Brother Luke, to tell us the former treaties have our middle Theophilus of all that Jesus began. Hallelujah. Began to do and teach. began to do and to teach until, until the day in which he was taken up. After that, he sent the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost and giving commandments and unto the apostles. Commandments, hallelujah. Unto the apostles whom of whom he has chosen. Thank God by whom also he showed he himself showed alive himself after his passion. After his passion by many. Infallible, infallible proofs. Infallible proofs. Being seen speaking of them 40 of the days. days. Seen of them 40 days. And speaking of, of and the things speaking pertaining, of the to, the pertaining kingdom of God. to God's kingdom. And being assembled, and being together, assembled with them, together with them. He commanded them. That they should not depart from Jerusalem. Don't leave where? Jerusalem. Don't leave where? Jerusalem. But what should you do? But wait. Wait. For the promise of the Father. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Terry. Wait for Hallelujah. the promise of the God. Father. Wait for the, I said, of the pro, for the promise uh, for the of the promise Father, for the Holy Ghost, which, which said, "You heard of me." Wait for the Holy Ghost. That's right. Amen. So, viewers, if you don't have the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, that's when you're born of water. And if you don't have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, that's when you're born, born of spirit. You ain't saved. That's right. I don't care if you're so white, you look like a cloud with a suit. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. If you're so black, somebody think a, the darkness of a cave. Walk down the street right. with eyes. That's right. That doesn't matter. That's right. Every human under the sun, regardless of your position, yeah. has to come follow the epistle that is written in, in our, the heart of the church. Ye are our epistle. Do you hear this? Back in 2 Corinthians 3 and verse 2. Ye are our epistle. Written in our hearts. Written in our hearts. Known and read about Known and read it to everybody. For as much as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ, what is it? ministered by us, uh -huh. written not with ink, Minister written not with him, but with the spirit. It come of the on, man's God. own will. That's right. This thing got to be placed in you by the spirit in your heart. That's right. Uh -huh. Not in tables of stone. What? Not in tables of stone. Not in tables of stone. But but in fleshy tables of the heart. Fleshy tables of the heart. And such trust have we. That viewers, 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 viewers. That's why the Holy Ghost has me preaching yeah. so hard because God wants this card. Mm. In your heart. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. Card. Right. Amen. The reason why you find all these preachers flexibility, compromising, not stable, leaning to the left and leaning to the right because this message of holiness, God have not carved it right. in their heart. Amen. God wants to brand it in there. Right. Amen. Bless God. And when this thing get in your heart, blessed be God. God, you don't want nothing, and you won't let nothing. Thank God when you submit to what is written here, take it out of your heart. Now, this thing been called, hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah. It's been called down in my heart. Yeah. Amen. I, I, I remember when the cutting started. Yeah. Blessed be God. Amen. When I repented of my sins right. and went down in water, yeah. in the name of Jesus Christ, bless God, and I received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. How is it called, Pastor Genesis? How is it cut there? Because the word of God is a sword and he gives it to his preacher. And the Bible said, how can you hear? Hallelujah. Glory to God without a preacher. 
works. How can he preach it? Except to be sent. God except to be sent. And God put the sword in the hands of the preacher. Hallelujah. And charged him to use it. Hallelujah. Use it. Yeah. And man, I don't care if you're black, white, yellow, brown, or red. Use it. That's it. Amen. Go to God. Cut him in the heart. That's it. Amen. That's why you find people coming to be baptized. The knife, the sword of the scriptures cuts the heart. That's it. Amen. And all of a sudden, Acts 2 38 start to be branded there. Amen. It's cut so deep and make him run and tell his wife, you need to be baptized. That's right. Huh? That's right. And make the wife, glory to God. Tell her husband, glory to God, you need to be baptized. The thing is, hallelujah. Amen. The thing become car. Car. That's right. Car. Oh, down in your heart. But with the spirit of the living God. What did he say? But with the spirit what of the living God. What did he say? Back in 2 Corinthians 3 and verse 3. What is it? For as much as you are manifestly declared. You are manifestly declared. To be the epistle of Christ. To be the epistle of Christ. Ministered by us. Ministered by us. Written not with ink. Written not with ink. But with the spirit this of the living God. This thing is not written with ink. That's right. This is written by the spirit of God. Not in tables of stone. Not in tables of stone. But in fleshy tables of the heart. Fleshy tables of the heart. And such trust have Feels. we. Viewers, viewers, you that are watching, you know why you fight this? Because this is not in your heart. That's right. You know why your pastor fight it? Because it's not in his heart. That's right. You know why your church organization fight it? Because it's not in your heart. Think of it. We come bring you the epistle of God. That's right. You fight it because it's not in you. That's right. If it was in you, you won't fight it. You will embrace it. Right. You better give me 2 Corinthians chapter 4, beginning at verse 1. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and at verse 1. Therefore, saying we have this ministry as we have received mercy, we faint not. But I renounce the hidden things, things of dishonesty. Things of dishonesty not walking in craft, there's no hand in the word of God deceitful. But by manifestation, but by manifestation of, the truth, of the truth, committing ourselves, committing ourselves to every man's, conscience, to every man's conscience in the sight, in the sight of, God. of God. But, but if, our gospel be if hid, our gospel be hid, be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Wait a minute, them that can't see it, what condition that they're in? Are lost. Them that don't want it, don't want it. What condition that they in? Our laws. The church organizations that fight it. What condition are they in? Our laws. The board of bishops that fight it. What condition that they in? Our laws. The governments of the earth that fight it. What condition that they in? Our laws. The Republicans that fight it. What condition that they in? Our laws. The Democrats that fight it. What condition that they in? Our laws. What? But if our gospel be hid. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If our gospel be hid. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If our gospel, glory to God, be hid. It is hid to them oh, that oh, are yes. lost. Oh, yes, it's hid. It is hid to them that are lost. Who lost. done it, son? In whom the God of this world. Who done it? The God of this world. What did the devil do to them? Has blinded up the minds of them which believe not. That's why you can't see it. You're an unbeliever. That's right. That's why you fight baptism in the name of Jesus Christ because your father, the devil, blinded you. Blinded the That's minds. That's why you say you don't speak in tongue now, but yet you got some Holy Ghost. That's right. You're blind by right. your father. That's right. That's why you say it's more than one God and Jesus Christ is not God because the devil blind you. Your right. father blind you. Yeah. That's why that woman get mad and say, I don't care what you say. Yeah. I know what God told me, the God of this world. Blind. blind you. Right. The Bible speaks plain. In yeah. whom the God of this world, in whom the God of this world, of this world, has blinded the minds blind of them which believe the not. The mind of the unbeliever. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ. Wait a minute. What is the glorious gospel of Christ? What is it called? Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ. What is the glorious gospel of Christ called? The light of the glorious gospel of Christ. You see that, viewer? Amen. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ should do what? Who is the image of God? Wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the light of the glorious gospel of Christ. And who was Christ? Who is the image of God? Christ's image was Christ's shape. That's right. Christ's shape was God, was Christ's form. Yeah. Christ's form was Christ's fashion. That's right. Christ's fashion was Christ's body. Yeah. Christ's body was the son of the living God. That's right. And God was in that body. God was in that image. For one reason. That's the light. Yeah. Reconciling the world. Yeah. Glory to, to God unto himself. Yeah. That's why God was in Christ Jesus. The reckon, he couldn't reconcile us the way he was. Yeah. It took blood to be shed to reconcile us. Spirit ain't got no blood. Yeah. So the spirit went to the house of David, went to the tribe of Judah, got in the body of the woman, and he took upon him 
the form of a servant and the thing that he took on was made in the likeness of men. And the thing that was made was used to redeem us back to the holy estate that we lost in the Garden of Eden because of the failure of the first man, Adam. And here's that body went to the cross. I had a preacher, several preachers write me. Why, when you talk about the Son of God, you always talk about a body. Ye fool and slow of heart. Believe all what the prophet said. What were you when you were born? You were a body. What did the doctor put on the scale to weigh it? Amen. He weighed the body. He didn't weigh your spirit. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world. The Bible says. In Hebrews chapter 10 and at verse 5. Wherefore, when he comes to the world. He said, sacrifice and offering. Sacrifice and offering. Offer. You wouldn't do it. But a body. But a spirit. A body. A spirit. A body. A body what? Hast thou prepared me. Amen. That thing was prepared before the foundation of the world. What do you mean? It was predestinated. Yeah. It was foreordained. Yeah. And the physical body of the Son of Man didn't come from heaven. Yeah. It came from the tribe of Judah. Came out of born, came out of Bethlehem of Judea. Yeah. And so the Bible said, hath not the scripture said that Christ cometh of the seed of David out of the town of Bethlehem where David was. Where David so was. here comes Jesus now because God manifested the flesh, walking the earth, laying a pattern, laying a foundation That's right. for his apostles. That's right. Gave them the message of holiness. Yeah. Left it on record. Now we have it. That's right. By the same spirit right. that gave it to them, he gave it to the truth of God. Right. And we're not deviating to the left nor to the right. We're not adding. We're not taking away. We are leaving it in the most purest, rawest, roughest, toughest form. That's right. And whoever don't like it, mm -hmm. whoever don't like it, Amen. get ready for hell. That's right. Hell. But if our gospel be here, whoever don't like it, yeah. you get ready for hell. That's right. Jenna, you think you're the only one right? Oh, no, not at all. I don't believe I'm the only one right. Not at all. But I know what I'm preaching is right. That's right. Amen. Now, what I'm preaching is right because I'm staying within the Bible. That's right. As long as I stay within the Bible, as long as I stay within the law of Scripture. Huh? You yes. see, the book of Scripture is the law of the Lord. Right. And the way the law of the Lord is, there's liberty. there's liberty. And this is why we are free preaching this. Glory to Now, God. the Lord is that spirit. Listen at this, in viewers. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 17. The Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the where Lord the spirit is. the spirit of the Lord is. There is liberty. You know where the spirit of the Lord is. That's where his law is. Hallelujah. His law is implemented there. That's right. Amen. And you can be free in that law. That's preach right. in that law. Live by that law. Submit to that law. Right. And where you're lacking, come up to that law. Yeah. Be disciplined by that law. Be chastised by that law. Right. Be rebuked by that law. Be corrected by that law. Be uplifted by that law. That's right. And be delivered by the same law. The law of the Lord is perfect. Wait a minute. In Psalms 19 and at verse 7. What did he say? The law of the Lord is perfect. The law of who? The law of the Lord is perfect. Now let's see where that law is. Give me the 8th chapter of the book of Romans quickly now. Yes. It says, therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. That's right. Who, who walk, walk not, not after the flesh but after the spirit. That's right. Uh -huh. For the law of the spirit of For life. For the law of the spirit of life. In Christ Jesus. Which is in, wait a minute. The law of the spirit of life is where? In Christ Jesus. That's what we're bringing you, viewers. That's right. The law of the spirit of life that was in Christ Jesus. How strong is it? Has made me free from, from, what? from the law of sin and death. Why? For what the law could not do, what the law could not do, could not do, and that it was weak through the flesh. That means this during the time that Moses was walking earth, amen, and they was offering up lambs, bullocks, heifers, and turtle doves to take away sins. Their offerings was weak, weak, the offerings was weak very through the flesh. weak in the flesh. Those flesh offerings they offered was weak. They offered the lamb, but the lamb was slain, and even the lamb shed blood. But it was too weak to even touch a sin. That's right, eh? that's right. Lord, thank God, even though Aaron. And uh, amen. And the high priest Ithamar, Eleazar, Abihu, Nadab, the sons of Aaron, they come along and get a goat and lay their hands, thank God, upon the head of the goat and confess the sins of himself and the sins of the people upon the head of the goat. And the fit man to come and lead the goat away. Yeah. Thank God. But even though the, the fit man led the goat away, yeah. there wasn't a drop of sin. That's right. Not a drop of sin taken away. Why? Yeah. It was weak. Weak through the, the flesh. flesh. 
it was all weak. And because it was so weak, God needed something strong. That's right. Amen. To the Bible said, heaven was searched. Yeah. Glory to take God and the earth was searched. And he went down underneath the earth and that was searched. Yeah. Thank God he couldn't yeah. find no man worthy to open the book. And loot the seven seals thereof. And John said, I wept what about it. Because uh, no man was found worthy mm -hmm. to open the book. And loose the seven seals thereof. John said, one of the elders spoke to me in weep the fifth not. chapter of Revelation. He said, weep not, behold, the lion, the lion of the, the tribe, tribe of Judah. of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book. Thank God, and loose the seals thereof. And John said, I wept. And I wept much. And I wept much. Thank God, but he said, amen. The elder said, weep not. Weep not. Behold. You, you, you can stop crying now. Behold. Salvation to come now. Behold. Behold. The lion of the, the tribe lion. of Judah. Hallelujah. For it, thank God. Of the tribe of Judah. The root of David. Jesus come. Hath prevailed thank to open God the book. Hath prevailed to open the book. And to loose the seven seals thereof. Wait a minute. What do you mean Jesus came? to open the book. He came to fulfill the book because, amen, there was nobody. Amen, let me break it down and make it plain now. Nobody, glory to God, can come loose the seals. You know, if you got a letter that comes to your house and that thing is sealed, amen, I don't care how much you look at the envelope, you got to crack the seal. Right. Amen, you got to open up the envelope right. in order to look at the contents of it. That's so there was many things written here that nobody can fulfill. Go ahead. Hey, hallelujah. Go ahead. Nobody. Go ahead. Glory to God, nobody could fulfill it. Amen. Well, even though it, it was written that but thou Bethlehem Ephratah, though thou may be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come unto me that is to be ruler in Israel. It wasn't nobody walking here that can fulfill it. The Lord said unto my Lord, sit down on my right hand. Well, there wasn't nobody here. Right. Was there nobody here right. to fulfill it? Isaiah said, a rod shall come forth out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots, and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom, counsel, and might. Was there nobody here to fulfill oh, man. that? Oh, man. Oh, man. Amen. David, best God, saw him on the cross before he was born and said, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far? Oh, we thank God for hearing the roaring of my mouth, but nobody. No man. There was a nobody here right. to fulfill it. The prophet said, they pierced my hands and my feet. They let the habitation be desolate. Don't let nobody dwell there in their tents. Right. And that which I've been for welfare, right. let it become a trap. Right. Nobody. No man in heaven. Nobody. That's right. Nobody can fulfill it. Right. And man, he said, the wilderness in a solitary place yeah. shall be glad for thee. Hallelujah. <laughs> and the desert, <laughs> yeah, shall rejoice and shall blossom as a rose. Nobody walked the earth. No man. Amen. Can crack no that man. seal. Right. Amen. Until Isaiah fell in the spirit and say, who is it? Amen. I see somebody. Hallelujah. I see someone. Amen. Where, where, where is it coming from, from Isaiah? Eden. It's coming from Edom. What do you look like? He God got a dot coming on. From Boza. This that is glorious and it's a Hallelujah. And it's a peril. Traveling Amen. in the greatness he's of his strength. Traveling and he's strong. That's right. Amen. How that speak is righteousness. Mighty to save. He's mighty to save. Wherefore Amen. I Amen. So the books were sealed. And in the moment Jesus come from the womb, yeah. the seal was cracked. That's right. Huh? That's right. The moment he comes off, Go ahead. seal was cracked. Go ahead. Amen. Go ahead. I don't care how much you write down there. God with us, Emmanuel, God with us, amen. He had to fulfill it. Yeah. Opening up the seal means fulfilling scripture. That's right. Opening up the seal means fulfilling the scripture. That's right. Amen. That's why the Bible said he couldn't find no man to swear by. Right. So he swore by himself. And no man in heaven. Listen at this now. Back in Revelation 5 and verse 3. No man in heaven. Nor in the earth. And you dumb, ignorant hellions. Got three gods? Mm. Three of them? Oh, Lord. God fulfill the scriptures himself. That's Look at right. what I'm about to tell you now. God fulfilled his own word. That's, right. That's why the Bible said the word is with God and not one word can fall to the ground and to make sure that no word would fall to the ground he come himself. Right. And then he moved on Isaiah in the chapter 35 yeah. to tell us, your God will come. That's right. Huh? That's right. Hear what he said? Isaiah 35. Your God 
Amen. Welcome. And strengthen you the weak With the vengeance. That's right. Even God. With the recompense. With the recompense. He will come and save he you. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the and blind shall God be opened. come here. Then the eyes of the, the blind shall be opened. The eyes of the blind. God shall be opened. And the ears of the deaf shall ears be unstopped. The ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. God shall be unstopped. Then shall the lame man lame leap as in heart. Leap as in heart. You know, they have more than one meaning. Huh? That's right. That's not just dealing with someone that has physical only deformities. Amen. But when they say when your art, when your God shall come, shall come, when your God shall come, even God with a recompense, when your God shall come, say to them that have a fearful say heart, to them of the fearful heart, be strong, be strong, fear not. Fear not. Behold, your God will come. You know with when vengeance. God come here straight out everything, yeah. and He gonna come with vengeance. Even God even with a recompense, God with recompense, He will come and save you. He gonna come save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be open. That's why I can see now. Yeah. I'm not talking about naturally blind. Right. He done that too. That's right. Spiritually blind. That's right. Bless God when God come yeah. and he came, yeah. how? Then, in the flesh. That's right. He come along and open on your eyes. Yeah. And he told, amen, the apostles, blessed are your eyes. Yeah. For you see. For see. What else he said? And the ears of the deaf shall be unstuck. Deaf. Oh, I thank God there's many of you now. You were deaf. Yeah. You were deaf. You wouldn't hear this thing for nothing. Yeah. And then God unstopped your deaf ears. Right. Amen. Now you can hear there's one God. Right. And now your understanding has come open. Right. What else? Then shall the lame man leap as a heart. Leap as in heart. Oh, I thank God before then. You were traveling to your false church. Yeah. When you were traveling to your false church, you was lame, yeah. meaning your feet was out of place. But now the Bible says, go right to Then shall the lame man leap as in heart. Says, a good man's step go is ordered. Go right to God by the Lord. Right. You that's in these other religions, yeah. you're lame. lame. You're crippled. That's right. Thank God because you're not walking right. according to the word of God. Right. But when your God come, that's right. Then shall the lame man. When your God come, Amen. The lame man leap us in heart. Now he leaps. That, that's right. Huh? Leap us in heart. Why? Why he leap? Because now there's a different movement in his step. Yeah. He's happy now. Yeah. I'm not in the false church no more. That's right. I leap out of there. That's, huh? right. that's right. The lame man. Leap, leap us in heart. Leap. He run. Go ahead. Leap us in heart. Yeah. He run. Then shall the lame man leap us Glory in heart. Thank God. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank God. Huh? Go ahead. Go ahead. That's why sometimes. You know, sometimes I just can't stand flat footed, you know? Yeah. Because there was a time I was lame. That's right. I was lame, you know? That's right. In a false church. And then God came and put the brace of scripture Go ahead. on my legs. That's Hallelujah. Right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Bless God and made my feet like high. Hallelujah. Feet. Yeah. Hallelujah. Go ahead, thank God. Amen. And walk me out. Amen. And brought me out of falsehood. Now I can leap, I said. I can leap now. I can leave now. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. I can leave my side. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, Amen. You know you come out the false church, you know. The lame man. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory to God. You can leave, you know. Why? Our God came. You understand? He said, Your God. Will come. Say to them that have a fearful heart. Say to them that have a fearful heart. That is have a fearful heart. Be strong. Be strong. Fear not. Glory to God. Be strong. Be strong. Fear not. Yay. Be strong. Be strong. Fear not. And don't be afraid. Behold your God. Your God. Will come with vengeance. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Your God. Will come with vengeance. God will come. With vengeance. Our God came here. Hallelujah. He came. Hallelujah. Wrapped in a body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, go and take God. Went to the cross and died. He said, I got power. Go ahead. To lay down my life. Go ahead. I got power to take it up again. Step down in hell. Come back the third day. Go, hallelujah. Come on back. Go and take God. He come back the third day and said, all power is given unto me in heaven. Oh, it's a God in earth. Our God, your God, your God will come. Will come with vengeance. Hallelujah to God. With vengeance, even God. 
even God. With a recompense. Blessed be God. <laughs> Don't you hear God saying? The your repentance. God, your God will come with Repentance. You. Even God with yeah. a recompense. And remission of sins. Hallelujah. Should be preached. Hallelujah. And his name among all nations. <laughs> Beginning at Jerusalem. Our God came. That's right. So to you Jews <laughs> who said Jesus never came, <laughs> and you still waiting <laughs> for his first arrival, <laughs> he came already. Oh, yes. Walked earth, <laughs> looking in the likeness <laughs> of sinful flesh, <laughs> pissed in a <the> side. <laughs> Out came blood and water. <laughs> Come on back the third day <laughs> and a glorified state. <laughs> ascended above all heavens. Hallelujah. Gave the commandments, hallelujah, Hallelujah. to his apostles. Hallelujah. Left it right here. Hallelujah. Glory to God on record for us. Hallelujah. And that's why, hallelujah. hallelujah. That's why we preach them the way we do. Hallelujah. Because it has been engraved. Huh? Ye are our epistle. Ye are our epistle. Oh, praise his great name. Written in our hearts. It's written in our hearts. Known and read. Known and read. And read. Of all men. Oh, it's a God among all men. For as much as you are manifestly declared uh -huh. to be the epistle of Christ, yes. ministered by us. Ministered by us. Written not with ink. It's not, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Written not with ink. This thing not written with ink. But with the Spirit of the living God. Spirit of God. Not in tables of stone. Not in tables of stone. But in fleshy tables of the heart. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's all in the heart. Isn't that good? Hallelujah. It's all in the heart. Hallelujah. It's all in the heart. Hallelujah. Let's Hallelujah. 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 So viewers, Hallelujah. our God came. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is he. Hallelujah. He didn't come from heaven flesh. Hallelujah. He came down spirit. Hallelujah. And when he came down spirit, Hallelujah. he still was in heaven Hallelujah. spirit. Hallelujah. Because the spirit of God is everywhere. That's right. Everywhere. That's right. Everywhere, Hallelujah. and the Spirit Hallelujah. is nobody's son. That's right. The Spirit That's right. is not kin to nobody. That's right. But he went to the house of David. Hallelujah. Who, Pastor Jennings? Hallelujah. The Spirit of God Spirit did. Of God. Then he put on a body. Hallelujah. Who, Pastor Jennings? The Spirit of God did. Hallelujah. And the moment he put on the body, the, the body took on the name of the Spirit. That's right. Jesus and took on the title of the Spirit, Christ. Christ. That's why he inherited Hallelujah. a more excellent name Hallelujah. than the angels. Hallelujah. What did Peter tell us, son? Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right, human family. Hallelujah. Human family, Hallelujah. come out of your churches. Come out of your churches. Hallelujah. Come out of your churches. Yeah. This message of holiness is the message for the last days. Hallelujah. Nothing else. Hallelujah. Nothing else. Hallelujah. Nothing else. God put this message in the earth for you. Oh, yes. Save yourself. Save yourself. Save yourselves. What did he say? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent now. And, and be baptized. And be baptized. Every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus in Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins. Praise his great name. Oh, yes. To get your sins washed away. And, and you promise. shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Come out of your, hallelujah. Come out of your church, viewers. Come on out. Hallelujah. I don't care what your position is. You preachers, leave your organization. Leave your organization, preachers, leave them. Come walk in the truth of God. God only have one way. The Bible says one Lord, one faith, one baptism. There's one way, one standard. It's not another. Oh, it's that God I say is not another. Huh? Hallelujah. It's not another. That's right. Oh, Paul, bless God. Bless God. Uh, stepped on down in Galatia. That's right. Amen. And said, I marvel. But you're so soon removed you're from so him. so soon. Removed from him that called Lord, you. Hallelujah. Lord, take God from him that called you. Into the grace into of the Christ unto another, another gospel. Which is not another. What? It, which is not another. That's what I'm telling you. 
Amen. That's what I am preaching. Hallelujah. It's not another. It's not another. But there be some that trouble you will pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we, though we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you, preach that, any other gospel unto you, than that which we have preached unto you. Then what shall God from us? Let him be a curse. As I said before. So say I now again. If any man preach any other gospel unto you, preach any other gospel unto you, than that ye have received. Then what shall God from us? Let him be a curse. Anybody want to be baptized in water? <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand on your feet if you want it. If not, all right, we'll be back at 5 o'clock. So we'll say, hallelujah. Thank the Lord. Come on back again. When we thunder after you again, when we bring this one, only true way of salvation. Like our God brought it. <laughs> I said our God brought it. Our God brought it. He brought it from heaven. Thank God it's still here. May God keep you. May God preserve you. May God be with you. Is our prayer. Let us all stand. Under him that is able. To keep you from falling and present you faultless before the presence of